Hey, 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 everybody out there in YouTube land. Ooh, Mercy. I am at Little America up here on I-80 in Wyoming. Ooh, it's a little warm up here today. Got a trainee on the truck with me. And since we pulled in here, he did his post trip, logged out of e-logs, and boom, he's gone. I think he's had enough of the grumpy old man. I really, really do. Anyway, he's running around here somewhere. You got to come back here if he wants to go to sleep, right? <laughs> anyway, he'll be back. Anyway, this trainee that I got with me right now, his name is Eric, and uh, i tell you what, I'm thinking that he's a plant. Okay, you see this hole we're in, and see those trucks parked in front of us. This uh, camera doesn't do it any uh, justice. Actually makes it look a lot further away than it is. It's pretty tight. And we came in here from the video's left side and come in this way, and he pitched it out in front of that blue truck, then over there in front of that Volvo over there, and did a blind side into this hole. And he's my trainee. I think I think this fella is a mole, okay? I think he's just out here checking up on how, how Recap does his job. Because I'm going to tell you, he's supposed to be brand new out of CDL school, right? He's been on my trucks two weeks as of today. And I'm going to tell you that I would have been safe putting him in a solo truck. Would have had all the confidence in the world a week ago. Is that crazy or what? This guy is just super sharp. You tell him how to do things one time. Give him one practical application of it. He's got it. He's done. So we uh, and he already drove all the Rockies. We did Bozeman Pass, um, Homestead Pass, uh, Fourth of July Pass, uh, Snoqualmie Pass. I mean, hey, we even jumped down to Portland, picked up a load, come back and did cabbage. And I'm going to tell you, by the second pass that we hit, I didn't have to give this guy hardly no instruction whatsoever on the jake brakes. I mean, he just took to it like a duck goes to water. Crazy, right? Anyway, guy's going to be a really good truck driver. If he decides to stay with it, you know. May not be his forte, I don't know. But going to be a really good driver. Matter of fact, we're on a load right now that went from Portland, Oregon, going to uh, Michigan. Oh, let me take that lie back. We went through, we come south from Seattle to Portland, then we ran the gorge out to uh, Broadman, picked up a load there, and we're running this load back to St. John's, Michigan. A little over 2,000 mile run, and uh, after we get back to Michigan, I'm gonna call the boss man, see if they'll route us back to Fargo and put this guy in a solo truck, because he absolutely don't need to be with a trainer no more. He might as well be out making money, right? Anyway, good guy. Enough there about my trainee. Hey, you never guess who I ran into today. Check this guy out right here. He's here in Little America, I was walking across the parking lot, and he goes, Hey, Walt, Walt, is that you? Are you recapping? Yeah. Anyway, his name's David. I'm going to put his picture up here right quick. Hey, David. Man, I am so sorry. Man, I went to, um, I was going to edit our picture. You know, we took a selfie together, right? And I was going to put it in this video. But when I went to look for it on my camera, I couldn't find it. I am so sorry, dude. Oh well, we'll have to run into each other again sometime and do it again. Anyway, sorry about that. Didn't get your picture. 
So that's David Alexander out of Utah. He's currently underneath the load on his way to Missouri. We got to talking about uh, going into Missouri, and I was asking him, you're not going to the caves, are you? And uh, he wasn't going to the caves, but like me, he's been in the caves several times. And I had to ask him the question, because I think this driver is totally blowing smoke, but I actually heard a driver say that he took a load into the caves, and he went 150 miles deep. Now, every time I've been to the caves, the furthest I've ever gone in is about a half mile. And that's what David says. He didn't think they were that deep either. So, if anybody out there says that they've run in there more than a few miles, please leave a comment down there and let us know what's the furthest you've ever gone back in the caves in Kansas City and Missouri and Joplin and all those areas back there. I'd be curious to know what's the furthest anybody's been back in there. And, and I keep asking the question, and I even asked David that. I said, uh, I've only taken loads into the caves. I have never brought a load out of the caves. Have you? He goes, oh, yeah, yeah. He says, craft loads. I said, yeah. That's what I haul in there, too, is macaroni and cheese. He goes, yeah. But, so that's two drivers so far that I've talked to that's actually brought a load out of there. Most everybody else I know that, no, I only take loads in there. I never took one out. So if you took a load out of the caves, drop a comment down there as well. But anyway, it was real cool uh, running into David Alexander. Seemed like a really cool cat. You know, I, I like to meet people that watch my videos. It's, it's cool. It makes me feel good. You know, get to connect a name with a face and all that. It's really cool. I have noticed, though, that the people I meet that say they watch my videos, super good people. Absolutely good, down-to-earth kind of people. And I can't be more happy with the audience that I have here on YouTube. Anyway, didn't really have a whole lot to say. Just want to let you know I'm alive. I got a trainee on the truck. Can't do a lot of videos because of that. I don't know where he's off to, but he's out running around. He'll be back here later. So I thought I'd shoot a quick video. Anyway, we're going to get out of here. I might watch a little satellite TV or something. I've done walk bangers all around this place. By the way, all across the back fence line, prairie dog holes. Bangers had a blast chasing prairie dogs. Didn't catch one. I wouldn't let her dig one out. But that's her uh, favorite play toy, by the way. Anyway, we're going to get out of here. Y'all have an absolutely blessed day. God bless you each and every one. Remember, you too can change the world. All you got to do is be nice to each other. Bye-bye.